Oh, we're live. We're live! Hey, folks, Chef Jay Barnard here, and this is Late to Plate, episode number six. six. Well, wait a second. Whose voice is that? Is yeah. the Texas Tornado back? Or should I say the Thunder Bay Tornado? Back in action. Back in action. We got Tornado back on the set, which is exciting. Thanks to uh, Monty B and to Brent Lundy and Finn and Axel for taking over for uh, Torn while he was gone. Uh, what, what did you do anyway? Not a hell of a lot. You know, I went to the lake. I enjoyed my summer. <laughs> you got holidays? What, you don't? I don't get holidays. I'm the owner. How do I get holidays when I'm the owner? Don't know. Don't I care. haven't figured that one out yet. You not really, my problem. You don't really care, do you? I do not. Okay, so... We went down to the farmer's market this morning, didn't we, Torn? And we got some sexy local vegetables. Look at the color on these cauliflower, right, eh, Torn? So I did not know that you could get cauliflower that is purple. So yes, we got yellow and purple cauliflower, which we got from Honey Mill Farm. No. Yeah, Honey Mill in Walda. No. No. We got it from Gordon's. No, we got it Lowen's. from Lowen's Gardens. Sorry about that. It's Lowen's Gardens. We got the colorful cauliflower we got these sexy sweet peppers we got uh that's all we got from them eh yeah and then we got the leek from honey mill farms and that is delicious leek that is delicious leek look how nice that is eh like how can you get like that is beautiful and then we got the carrots and the uh where did we get the carrots from I don't recall <laughs> we got the carrots from somewhere in the market and then uh, my all-time favorite is uh, Fifth Avenue Farms. They have the most beautiful microgreens, the beautiful sprouts. Uh, this is a radish uh, sprout. It's absolutely beautiful. And then we got this wicked pinto white wine from the local liquor store, didn't we? Yeah, but I mean, made locally in Argentina. <laughs> made locally in Argentina. Aged all the way since 2016. That is pretty aged, isn't it? No. Yeah. And then we got some local herbs from... Uh, Joe's wife, Rose. So we got some uh, oregano going on. We got some sage. We got some parsley. And that is that, isn't it, Torn? Yeah. So what happened this week? We had some exciting things go on. I'm actually, or we're actually, in Top Chef Northwestern Ontario. Is that what they're calling it now? Yeah, where's that located? Out of so we're doing that on Thunder Bay, or in Thunder Bay, November 4th. Isn't yeah. it? Does that mean I get to go home? No, you're moving oh. here and I'm going there. Oh, isn't that okay. how that works? <laughs> And then also, so that's exciting, we're going in, we got a sexy dish to present to you guys, judges, you know who to pick it, the guy that's from out of town, Freshwater Cuisine, uh, which is exciting because it was called Top Chef Thunder Bay, but now it's called Top Chef Northwestern Ontario. Hopefully that plays well into your bid to get onto Top Chef Canada. Speaking of which, Top Chef Canada ended their uh, application entries on the 18th, so Hopefully, Mark McEwen, if you're watching, Lynn Crawford, if you're watching, Chef Jay Barnard, a.k.a. Chef Recovery, Top Chef Canada, third try. Let's make a Kenora boy in there. And then we also will be going to the Savior Superior. Yeah, that's coming up quick. At, on the 15th and 16th at the MCL, no. <laughs> What's it called? No, at the uh, CLE Coliseum. CLE Coliseum, MCL, CLE, mm. whatever, Coliseum. Second time, Freshwater Cuisine's there. We got some sexy, we're actually launching a new product, aren't we there? Yes, we are. We are launching a very exciting type of walleye wing. Are we? And our great and talented friend Darlene Green at the Silver Birch Restaurant has created this walleye wing, hasn't she? Yeah, she has. It's actually on her menu right now. It is on her menu. So, folks, if you're looking for the new... Walleye wing, go to the Silver Birch and Thunder Bay, talk to Darlene, she's going to hook you up with it. Should we tell them what it is? I think we have to, if it's on the menu. If it's on the menu! So we got coconut walleye wings coming to you in Thunder Bay at Savior Superior, which is exciting. And we're also going to be launching our famous Northern Pike Cakes, not launching, but just using our famous Northern Pike Cakes, aren't we? On a nice brioche with a nice maple bacon jam to go with the 150th Canada's birthday. How sexy is that? Yeah, that's great. Well, the early bird is still going on for Saber Superior till the end of the week, so if you haven't bought your tickets yet, now's the time. Now's the time, and I will be doing a demo from 9 till 10, how to cook walleye wings three ways on the Saturday or the Yeah, that is the Saturday night, so the 16th of September, you'll be doing a demo at 9 o'clock. That's it, so we're, we're closing the show, aren't we? We're ending Savior Superior. We're ending Savior Superior. So, Taraz at the local Bruco, come over and say hi to us. 
And uh, maybe we'll use some of his uh, local beer to show the folks how to do wings, huh? Well, I know I'd certainly like to drink another one. <laughs> yes, he would. You? Well, we might have some Pinto wine for you mm. here in a minute. Uh, so, last week we did an amazing whitefish dish, didn't we? We did. I wasn't here, but you I heard here. it was good. Did you smell it through the camera? Yeah, it was tough. It was tough, eh? So, this week we're using whitefish again, which is exciting. Look at how beautiful this is, Torn. Beautiful whitefish. We've scaled it. It's dressed. Uh, so, this week I'm going to show you guys how to do a whitefish steak. Uh, in a white wine sauce with our local leeks, with our local vegetables. We're going to stew it. This thing is phenomenal. It's beautiful looking. It's colorful. It talks fall, doesn't it, Torn? It seems like a beautiful fall dish, which is only fitting because it's about 8 degrees outside today. It is 8 degrees. And that's, you know, that's the beautiful thing about the farmer's market too right now is I'm so excited that we get to use all these local root vegetables and the colors that are coming out for fall because it makes our fish look good, eh? Okay, so let's hop into this, Torn. So what we want to do, so I've already dressed the whitefish, so we took the guts out, we've already scaled the whitefish, so now all we've got to do is take the head off. You know, this is the other thing, Torn. <laughs> Look at the amount of meat in there. You know, so if I was to like make this a, a whitefish stock, I'd be using this right here. Unfortunately today it's just got to go. So then we cut that off, we cut the tail off as well. Then we make our steak. If you wanted to get a nice whitefish steak in Kenora, now where would you go? That's a good question. Who's selling whitefish in Kenora right now as, as we speak? Well, I know a nice place on 18 Sunnyside Road where you can get a whitefish. Okay, folks, if you're looking for whitefish, you want whitefish, you want whitefish fillets, you want whitefish steaks, you want whitefish cakes, head her over to 18 Sunnyside Road, Freshwater Cuisine Headquarters, We'll hook you up. We need to see more whitefish out there. We need to see more species being used, not just walleye, not just perch, not just crappie. We need to get to the other fish that are very undervalued and underappreciated. Do you agree? I totally agree. Okay, let's get some meat on over here. So what we're going to do, Torn, is we're just going to uh, we're just going to take these beautiful carrots. We're going to cut them in half. So what we're going to do is do, and then here's our leek. So I like to cut my leek in half too, Torn. Take the end off. Take the end off. This is just going in there like that. This might be a dumb question, but what is a leek? Is it like an onion? It is like an onion. <laughs> that is a dumb question, isn't it? <laughs> you know, I was told as a kid there's no such thing as stupid questions. I agree with you. Just stupid people. Right. And Tom is right. There is not a stupid question. Hey, Tom, how you doing? Uh, anyways, this is, uh, this, this is, look at how beautiful this is. This is a sweet pepper that's grown here in Ontario. It's not a hot pepper. It's a sweet one. I just cut it in half. We take the seeds out. You know, the beautiful thing about this one, Torn, is when you're doing this, you don't have to worry about, like, it's not like a jalapeno, so you're not going to burn yourself, right? So, boom, take that like that. I cut that in half. Boom, boom. Let's get some butter in the old fry pan over there, my friend. So, you know us. We is this like a to... Paula Deen cooking show? <laughs> Paula Deen. Paula Deen. So, we get the... This is how easy this is, Torn. We add some butter. We add some garlic. We love the garlic here, don't we, Torn? I love the smell of garlic. So we're just going to let that fly. We add the veg in there. Like, do you notice that all our recipes are easy enough for people at home to do? Well, that's why we do them in 20 minutes. That's why we do them in 20 minutes. Add some salt. Oh, yeah, now it's starting to cook up, eh? Boom. Add some pepper. Got some pepper kicking. Then we got, uh, we're going to just throw in some local oregano, some local parsley, and some, where's the sage? Here's the sage. Some sage in there. Boom. It's already smelling beautiful, isn't it, Torn? It smells. Boom, we grab some of our white wine. This is how easy this is, folks, and fast. Boom, we take some of our vegetables. Nice, beautiful, colorful cauliflower. We just bring it up to a boil. Is that easy or what? Just that simple. How simple is that? Boom. Now what we're gonna do to Torn, we're gonna transfer it from there into here 
And what's the reasoning for that? We're going to be stewing or braising, however you want to call it, it in the oven. So we got our oven set at 450 right now. This is beautiful. We're just going to take this, boom into here, boom into here. Now we're going to put our sexy fish in here. Can you hear that sizzle? Can you? Boom. Boom. How sexy is that? <clears throat> then we just take a little bit more salt and pepper. Put it on top like this. Now what kind of salt do you recommend? Table salt? Kosher salt? I like kosher salt. What about you? I'm a sea salt guy. You're a sea salt guy. Yeah, nice and coarse. You like it nice and coarse, eh? <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. That's it. Flip it over. Get the taste of wine on here. Salt the other side. This is very Mediterranean. Do you think you'd see this anywhere in Northwestern Ontario Farm? I have yet to see a restaurant. Maybe the Silver Birch. We used to have it at a restaurant in town. What when I the launched the product in 2015, I said to my good friend Brent Lundy, I said, we need to be over the top. We need to be different. We need to be doing something that nobody else is doing. This is something that nobody else is doing. Whole fish just cut like that. Boom. Take this. Put it in here right on top of your veg. Take your... How beautiful is that? Take your liquid right in. Now you're just throwing this in the oven torn with the lid on it to stew. Oven set at 450. You let this go for 25 minutes to half an hour. How will you know when it's ready? The bones start to come apart from the fish. Uh -huh. And uh, that's when you know it's done. How easy was that? What was that, like three minutes? Come on, folks. Like, if you're not eating freshwater fish, you're missing the boat. Let's get our sexy bowl out, eh? We're going to use a different one this time. Tom. Oh, mixing things up. Boom, mixing it up. No okay. sauce compartment this week. No sauce. We're making a sauce right now, my friend. No, no, no little sauce compartment on your dish. No dishes. sauce container. We're going to use some more butter. Paula Dean would be proud. Paula Dean would. Boom. Got some butter in there. We're just making a nice white wine garlic sauce to go on top. So how much garlic do you recommend? Is there a right amount? I don't think there is a right amount. Is there a right amount? Because I love I've garlic. I've never found enough garlic. Here's the best part. We use the end part to the leek, the green part. Go back to our philosophy of not wasting. Not wasting. We don't waste anything here at all, do we? No, we don't. Just a nice fine chop. That's a cool thing because it's fall time. Boom, boom, boom. Did I use boom too much? I don't know. Someone on Facebook thought you did. <laughs> what did he say? Boom, annoying. Does that stuff, mate? Eh? Yeah. Look at that corn. We got that. Now we take our white wine. Get the white wine in there. Now, how much white wine? Well, we used a bottle, didn't we? Or did you drink all that? No, I thought you had a sip before the show. <laughs> now you just let this reduce. How easy is that? Well, now what do we do? Boom! Well, the fish is ready, isn't it? Well, that was quick. Is that a quick 20 minutes? Well, that's the power of television. That's the part. Should we, we should talk really... about what we're doing next week? Should we let the fish cook a little bit more? Yeah, let's let it cook up a little bit. All right, let's... Uh, so next week, we're actually going to pair up with Wolfhead Coffee... Out of Thunder Bay, correct? I brought it with me. You brought it with you. The only smoked coffee in Canada, is that true? I think it might be the world. World? Are we touching the only smoked coffee in the world right now? And we're putting it with the finest freshwater fish in the world. That is. I don't know if it can compete with Hojo's and my best friend Mel down there, you know, our favorite place to go eat. But what we're going to do is we're going to partner up with them. I'm going to do some kind of crush. Should we move away from whitefish next week? I think it's time to try a new fish. Try a new fish. What should we try? Uh, is it pike time? Let's Maybe. try the pike! Yeah, we're going to do northern pike crusted. I don't know how we're going to do it. You know the best thing about being a chef is that I just roll with recipes. Are any of these recipes, have I told you about any of these recipes before? No. no. I, I'm still looking for the cookbook in your office. <laughs> Boom, look at that. The sauce is coming together already. So we're going to pair up with Wolfhead Coffee out of Thunder Bay. Thanks a lot for giving us the coffee. And we're going to do some kind of crust or some kind of something with it with Northern Pike next week. We're going to have some fantastic local vegetables. It's that time of year. 
Okay, let's check out. Oh man, that's phenomenal torn. Look at that coming together, eh? Boom, let's take a look at our fish. Oh my. Look at this torn. How All phenomenal. in 25 minutes. All in 25 minutes. Okay, so there it is, folks. It's cooked. Boom, that's beautiful. So we're just going to put that in there like that. We're going to take our carrot. We're going to take our... Oh. How colorful is this, Torn? Mm -hmm. The colors, they just pop, especially just pop. that nice purple Look at how the flower. vegetables are all nice and, and, and uh, braised. So what texture would these vegetables be? What <laughs> They're past El Dante. They're past El Dante. You know, I'm finally learning what al dente means. Now you take the rest of this liquid into my sauce. Cook that down a little bit more. My God, eh? Isn't that something? That is local wild caught whitefish from the finest fishermen in northwestern Ontario and women that is local vegetables from the local farmers market that's local herbs that's local garlic we're going to finish it off with the sauce here the sauce is starting to come together toss a little knob of butter back in there you know me I like the butter acorn oh yes you do what chef doesn't how's the diet going we haven't touched on that in a while I've been gone looks like I've lost about 20 pounds since you left or what Shirt's getting a little tight, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Didn't want to say anything. Well, ask the audience, does it look like the chef is losing weight? Here, hey, here's a question for the audience. Do you trust a skinny chef, or do you trust a pleasantly plump chef? Which one do you trust? Well, I that's know which right. one's food I like. Yeah, that's more like that. That's what I like doing. Here's our sauce. It's coming together. Beautiful smell of garlic. The beautiful smell of local... Look at that, corn. Isn't that... The beautiful smell of leek, the beautiful smell of... Hey, should we get some local butter sometime? Does anybody have any butter. local butter? We tried that. <laughs> right. Right, we did try that. Okay, now we take the sauce. This is how easy this is, folks. Right on top. Oh, isn't that... How beautiful is that, Torn? Now that looks fantastic. Boom, bada bang, bada boom. And then we take some nice crispy local onions that I did up right on top. Then we take the Fifth Avenue radish herb sprouts. There we have it. Why don't we do something that we've never done on the show before? Why don't you try it? I will try it. But what do you think something like this goes for? Now that, a fine meal like that, that has to be a $30 entree at a fine establishment. I totally agree with you. That's 30 bucks, folks. The fish, the local, it's all trending right now. You can't get any more local than that, can you? That is a Toronto food scene if I've ever seen one. Except it's right here in Kenora. It is. By yours truly. Okay, where's a fork? Do we have a fork? Oh, well, I hope we have a fork in the kitchen. Here we go, here we go. Oh my, look at these vegetables torn, just how I like them. <laughs> Folks, the best part is, you go into the, look at that torn, beautifully cooked, nice and white, pulling off the bones. My mouth is watering. <laughs> this is phenomenal. But chef, what about all the bones, chef? Chef, what about all the bones? Chef, I'm going to choke on a bone. People. Fish have bones. Don't be scared. Cook the whole fish. Try the whole fish. That's where you're going to get the flavor. The fat that's in there. Make the skin. Everything. No, my good buddy Ned Bell would be proud of me right now. Ocean-wise, Ned Bell. He would be very proud of me for cooking this right now. Oh. Ha ha. Oh. Folks, it doesn't get any better than this. If you're looking for freshwater fish, come to 18 Sunnyside Road in Kenora, Ontario. Freshwater Cuisine Headquarters. We have anything you want. You just ask us. We'll give it to you. We actually even have a chef that will show you how to do things, don't we, Torrin? We really do. We really do. It doesn't get any better than that. That was 25 minutes. A meal ready for the family. Four steaks out of one fish. 
Boom. Next week, we're going with Wolfhead Coffee straight from Thunder Bay. We're sticking to the local theme. If anybody wants to pair up with us and be part of Lake to Plate, send us an email at Jay at Freshwater Cuisine. Let's get your products out there. Let's talk about your products. Let's talk about local. Let's talk about fish. Let's pair it all up. Let's make Kenora proud. Till next week, folks. Bye-bye.